Hey guys, I'm Sam, and today I'm going to show you how to install Bucket and Spigot for Minecraft 1.8. So with the new release of Minecraft, it is a little trickier to install Bucket and Spigot for your server, but hopefully this will help make it easier. But it is, uh, it is going to be not as, not as easy as it used to be. So the reason this is different from the way that you used to download and install the jar file for your server is that instead of, of downloading the jar file right from this website, you actually have to build and compile the jar files themselves from your own computer. So that's what makes it a bit more tricky because you can't just download it, you actually have to create it from your own computer which makes things a bit harder, but hopefully this tutorial will help. But before we begin, there are a few tools that you're going to need before you can install Bucket or Spigot. And the first one is the Java Development Kit. So if you don't have this, you can go to the website in the, in the description, and I'll bring you to this page. And Java Development Kit is different from Java that you use to play Minecraft, so chances are that you probably do not have this. You can check by going to the control panel and then looking at your programs. So I'm going to go down to Java, and you can see here I have the normal Java, but then over here, the one I'm highlighting currently, it says Java SE Development Kit. So if you don't see this, Java SE Development Kit, and whatever update it is, then you probably need to install it. And even if you don't, I'd get the latest version if you already have it. So then you're going to see a few, uh, well, a few links down here. And before you do that, you want to accept the license agreement, alright? And I'm going to be, I, use, I have a Windows 64-bit uh, computer. And you can check this by going to uh, the system, and you can see under system type it says 64-bit operating system. So that's how I know what download I'm going to choose. Then just click on the download, and it will start. And once that, once that download is complete, you can double-click it to open it, and then just go through the quick installation. It, which, it took about five minutes actually, but just press next a couple times and it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna cancel this. The second thing you need is git git uh, for Windows. So this is a tool that lets you run kind of a command prompt type thing. I'm not really sure how it works, but you need it to install uh, the bucket or spigot. So when you get to this page from the link in the description, you're gonna want to press download. Alright, that will start to download, and I'll go through this installation quickly. Uh, this will pop up when you double click it, and you can press next, press next again, press next, <laughs> keep pressing next, press next, keep pressing next, uh, next all the way through, and that is a-okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to let that download, should be pretty easy. Uh, and then, um, this is a very quick one, this only takes about a minute. And, uh, yeah, so once you have these two things, you are all ready to go. So after you've downloaded and installed those two tools, you're going to want to go to the third link in the description, which will bring you to the Spigot website on a thread on how to install Bucket and Spigot. So you're going to want to go down until you see server instructions. And here you're, you're going to go to step 2 and then download the build tools jar from this website. So the build tools jar is the jar uh, file that is, that's used to build and compile the server jars. This jar isn't actually the jar that will run your server. So I'm going to click on that and if it says harmful press keep and that will download. So now I'm just going to move this to my desktop. Alright, so now we have the build tools jar on our desktop. And now we're going to create a folder to put this in. So go to new folder. 
And this is going to be the folder that creates the jars for your server. This isn't actually going to be your server folder, so I'm just going to name this server jars. And I'll drag and drop that in there. Okay, so now we need a way of executing this build tools jar. So the way we're going to do that is right click, new, text document. And we can just name that anything. I'll name it run. Okay. Now open that up. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the commands to the command to execute the uh, jar. So I have three different commands here. You're only going to need one. The first one is for 32-bit Windows, the second is for 64-bit Windows, and the third is for Linux. So this tutorial is mainly for Windows, so <laughs> if you're on Linux or Mac, this may not really be the tutorial for you, but anyway. You're going to want, want to copy the command that's right for your computer. So I showed how my computer was 64-bit window before, so I'm going to copy the this command. So copy, okay? And just before you copy this, you're going to want to make sure that the Java version in the command is correct. So you can see here it says JDK 1.8.0 underscore 25. So that means it's Java Development Kit version 8 update 25. And that's what we installed before. But a new update will change this version. So the way to check what version and update you have is to go to uh, control panel, programs and features, and then go down to Java, and you can see here it says Java SD Development Kit 8 Update 25, so that matches correctly. But say a new update comes out, and it's Update 26, I'll have to change this 25 to the 26. But for now, I'll keep it at 25, and I can again copy this command, and paste it into that run file that we created. So good. And yeah. But next we're going to have to change this into a .sh document because right now it's a text document. So we're going to have to see the file extension in order to change it from a .txt, which you can't see, to a .sh. So the way that you can see t uh, file extensions is by going to a control panel again, then going to appearances, appearance and personalization, folder options, go to view, and the second to last one says hide extensions for known file types. So that's checked. You're going to want to uncheck that. Let's apply, then OK. And now you can see that this says run.txt, and this one says buildtools.jar. So this is how you tell what type of file this is. So right now, this is a text document. So if we rename that and change the .txt to run.sh, press enter, it says you're changing it, press OK. Now it is a shell script. And if you double click that, it will run the buildtools jar. So double click that and github uh get ran and uh yeah it's going to start to download build and compile the uh different jars to run your server so this the website says this takes about 10 minutes but when i tried it it takes 15 minutes so i guess that kind of changes depending on how fast your computer is but yeah i'll get back to you when this is done Okay, so this is what your folder should look like when it's done. I actually did this a few days ago, but when I did it then, it took 15 minutes. So you'll have all these different folders created. And inside the bucket, craft bucket, and spigot folders, you'll find the jars to run your 1.8 server with. So you can get to them. I guess I'll start with the spigot one. If you go to spigot, spigot server, target, then you'll find the spigot 1.8 jar. So there it is. And now from here you could use this to as your server jar and make your server. So if you want a craft bucket server, 
you can go to craft bucket, target, and then there's the craft bucket 1.8 server. And then bucket, bucket, target, and then you have the bucket one. So I'm not really sure what the difference between bucket and craft bucket is, but I think you're going to want to use craft bucket, not bucket. I think craft bucket is the better one. <laughs> but yeah, so now to show you that this works, I'm actually going to take the graph, the uh, craft bucket jar. I'll just copy and paste it onto my desktop. Okay. And now I have an old 1.7 server here with this old jar. I'm going to move this onto the desktop, put in the new 1.8 jar. There it is. Just gonna rename this quickly. Now this isn't really a tutorial on how to create a server, so if you want to uh, look that up, check some out some other video tutorials that may help. But now I'm just gonna run this, and hopefully, if you wait just a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Come on. Well, <laughs> it will work. It's just, there you go. Alright, so, <laughs> now you see that it is starting my server in Minecraft 1.8. So I'm going to close this, go into Minecraft, and uh, go to localhost, and I'm logged in. Yeah, there we go, Minecraft 1.8. Go to F3, see it's Minecraft 1.8.1. I actually have a plugin installed, the uh, Ultimate Survival Games plugin. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, that's it works. That's really awesome. Now you can have your server with all your plugins and games and stuff for Minecraft 1.8. So that's really cool. And now anytime that you want to anytime you want to update these update these server jars you can go back to the Spigot website and re-download this build tools jar. And they're gonna they're always going to be constantly updating this jar file with the latest version. So always check back and then once you download a new version, you can you can uh put in the new one and then run this again. So then you can press the run.sh again. And the next time you do it, it will update all the jar files and it should only take about 5 to 10 minutes. It should be quicker than the first time doing it. So uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. I know it was a bit confusing because the way you do it now is more confusing. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below and I'll definitely get back to you with the answer. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll have more videos coming up, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye!